when we performed this uh, reorganizing of our table, it was a bit complicated, and that was partly because our rows of data originally did not contain only a single value, but rather values for a, a bunch of years, which we needed to collapse before we could turn the data from the tall into the wide form. But if we have tables that, um, where we really only have one set of values for our two um, ways of categorizing them, then it's quite easy to switch back and forth between wide and long tables. So if we have a wide table, which is the kind where we have, um, where we have uh, rows and columns, each with their own names, and if we want to, to stack them up so that they are producing a long or tall table, we can do that using a function called um, pandas melt. When we perform the melt function, the column index names will then be turned into a new generic column and then the name of that uh, generic column will be the name of the actual uh, column headers themselves. So if the name of the column headers is called sector, then there'll be a new column generated called sector, and it will include the values that used to be the column headers. Um, so I think the easiest way to see this is to just do it. So we're going to be working on this uh, data frame view that we just created up here. And um, before we do that, I need to go ahead and, and change this back to sector so that we are now, uh, we have the sectors as the column headers. So the name of the, of the column header labels is called sector. So um, if I want to um, perform this switchover, the state label here has to first be turned into a generic state column. And I'm, so I'm going to have to do that by using the reset index um, method. And when I do that, I can see that now it's gotten moved out of the column header, uh, sorry, out of the uh, row index label uh, form into just being a generic column like everything else. So the values that I have to pass into the melt function, the, the first argument is the name of the data frame that I'm passing in, and so it's called wide. And then the next thing that I have to pass in is the names of the columns that um, are basically going to be left alone to remain as grouping variables. So I don't really want to mess with the state column. I want it to just stay the way it is. But all of the other columns then are going to be uh, thrown together um, to become a new grouping variable. So if I go ahead and run this, I can see that it has um, taken the name of the um, the name of the column labels, which is sector, and use that as the column header for the new column that it created in order to have the tall uh, data frame. So if I want to go the other way around and take um, this uh, long table that I just created up there, the way that we do that is with um, a method called dot pivot. So dot pivot takes tables that are long or tall, depending on what you want to call them, um, which have grouping variables and then stacked values, and it turns them into wide tables. I can choose which way I want to make them be wide um, based on uh, which of the grouping variable columns I choose to make the column labels. So if I say, OK, I want the sector to be the column labels, then I get one that's wide because it has sector names as the columns and the states uh, are used as the label for the rows. But I could also go the other way around and say that I want the states to be the column headers and that I want the uh, sectors 
to be the, the row labels. So I can do it either way. And then whatever uh, uh, the rows are that are left will then become the uh, data cells. So the, the way that I specify that is like this. So the first value is the one that I want to leave as the row um, labels. And then the second argument that I pass in is the column that I want to become the um, column labels. And then the column, the value column is the one that I'm going to leave as the actual data items to fill up the cell of the table. If I wanted to do it the other way around, then all I have to do is simply switch sector and state around. And if I run that, I can see that now I have a different sort of uh, wide table that is um, that has states as columns and sectors as rows. Uh, 